In this video, I am going to discuss a detailed example of a disjoint set data structure using a disjoint set forest. The problem we are going to solve is finding components of a graph. Hi, I am Dr. Shahriar Hussain. I made two other videos on disjoint set and disjoint set forests. I explained how we could use a disjoint set to discover the components of a graph. Things can become quite interesting and complex when we use a disjoint set forest as our disjoint set data structure. The main confusion that I observe in learners' work is during path compression. When is path compression applied? before or after the union operation? The answer is path compression may happen only when the find set function is called. Let us go over a detailed example today. In the example we will discuss, there will be two path compressions. We will trace our component finding function to make sure that the overall concept of discovering components becomes clear. In the previous two lectures on disjoint sets and disjoint set forest, we discussed all these algorithms. This algorithm here is the algorithm to find connected components given a graph. This function is responsible for creating the initial rooted tree that has a rank of 0. This function is responsible for returning the root of the tree or the representative of the set. Recall that this find set function is responsible for path compression. This function returns the representative of the set which is the root of the tree. Here is the union function. The union function uses the link function which is written here. The union function combines two rooted trees as discussed in the previous lecture on disjoint set forests. Consider that we have a graph with a set of vertices V and a set of edges E, where V contains the vertices A, B, C, D, I, J, and K. The set of edges is the following. We have A, B, we have a C, D, we have a B, D, we have I, J, we have I, C, we have A, C, and we have I, K. The task is to find out the components of this graph using this particular function named connected components. Here is our connected components function and here is our graph. We will now use our connected components function to find out the components from this given graph. In the very first stage of this algorithm, it says that apply make set operations for each of the vertices of the graph. When we use the make set operation or the make set function, we will create a rooted tree for each of the vertices of the graph. Therefore, after this first for loop is executed, we will have seven rooted trees. Recall from the previous video on disjoint set forest that each of these rooted trees will have a zero rank in the very beginning. Now after all these rooted trees are created, our execution will go to this particular for loop where we are iterating over each of the edges. For each edge, we find out what is the representative or the root of a particular endpoint of the edge and the other endpoint of the edge. So we'll have two roots. 
if they don't have the same representative then we will make a union we will apply this part of the algorithm to this set of edges in the first stage find set a and find set b will be executed because the first edge is a comma b a and b are in two different rooted trees as a result we will have to merge them therefore this union operation will execute so we will say union a b and as a result recall from the previous video on disjoint set forest that b will be our root and a will be the child and in this process the rank will increase the rest of the trees will remain the same i should clarify that the rank of a tree is stored in the rank variable of the root node of the tree we do not track the ranks of the non-root nodes because the rank refers to the rank of the tree which we store in the root only Therefore, in your implementation, even if you have a rank variable for every node, only the rank value of the root of the tree matters. We will not write the rank values of the non-root nodes of any of the trees in this exercise because they are not used in the algorithms we are discussing. Let's create some space here now our second edge is cd for cd find set c is in one component and find set d is in another component therefore we will be applying the union operation union c comma d we are applying this on cd as a result, D will become the root of the new tree and C will become the child. Of course, the rank will increase by 1. The rest of the trees will remain the same. Now the next edge is BD. For BD, find set B is in this uh, rooted tree and find set a d will result in a root in this tree as a result we have to merge these two trees since both these trees have a height of one um, we will make the second tree which has the root d the parent b will become a child of d and the rank will increase by one which makes the rank two the rest of the trees will remain the same to find more space we'll delete this part of the work now our next edge is ij i is in this component and j is in this component that means they're in two separate components so we have to combine them using another union operation in this combination j will become the root union of ij would result in a tree where j is the root and i is the child and the rank will increase by one the rest of the trees will remain the same again it is time to make some space so we'll be deleting this part of the work now the next edge is ic notice that i is here in this rooted tree and c is here in this rooted tree therefore they are in two different trees so we will merge the trees to merge these two trees will make the root of the tree that has higher rank the root of the combined tree as a result d will be here the representative of the tree the rest of the tree will remain the same 
Now J will become the child of D. I will remain the child of J. The rank of this new tree will be 2. Here the rest of the trees will remain the same which only has K. The next edge is A comma C. Things will become interesting here. A and C both are present in the same tree. As a result, find set A and find set C both will return D, which is the root of their corresponding tree. But in the process, the tree will change. This particular tree will change to the following. The change will be reflected here. A will directly point to D instead of pointing to B. The rank will remain the same. Since their parent is still D, this part of the algorithm will result in false. As a result, there will be no union A, C. Union operation on A and C, this particular edge will not operate. The execution will not go here. So at this point, the forest we have is particularly this tree and this tree. Remember that this tree has already changed to this one. Now we have to go for the next edge. So now we are making union of i comma k. When we are making union of i comma k, notice one thing that find set i will be executed first. Therefore, this i will be compressed and directly be pointing to d. Therefore, the tree would look like this one. Even before the merge. Now we will merge this tree with this one. And that merging is quite straightforward given that this tree has a rank of 2 and this tree has a rank of 0. So K will become the child of D. The rank will remain 2. Finally, after all these operations and the execution of this function connected components, we have this particular rooted tree. So this is our disjoint set forest. Notice that we have only one rooted tree indicating that we have only one component in this given graph. I would again like to note that union of AC was never called but for A and C find set methods were called as a result the tree was changed but the process never went to the union method. In summary we had union for AB, we had union for CD, we had union for BD, we had union for IJ, we had union for IC but we did not have union for AC we saw the union for i and k. We did not need to use union of ac because when ac this edge appeared in our list a and c both the nodes were already in the same tree. In the process a was compressed. I hope that the two other videos for which I will provide links below in the descriptions and uh, this current video will all together explain the concepts associated with disjoint set, disjoint set forest and their application in finding connected components in a graph. I have made these 
three videos for the students of the advanced algorithm class that I teach in the Department of Computer Science at the University of Texas at El Paso. Of course, you are more than welcome to watch and subscribe to this channel. I wish you an enjoyable learning experience. Have a wonderful time. Thank you.